I'll record this game. So let's see, unranked looks like yes, yeah, it's, it's probably all pick. I don't know why this is up here though. Okay, let's see what they're gonna start out with. There's an I know there's an LC jungle. The moment I saw a Legion Command, I was like, that's it, that's all I want. That's all I want. Alina picked up by the Dyer, so it could be mid or support. I have you guys seen the majors yesterday? Oh, sweet lord. Legion Commander. Yeah, yesterday someone picked Lena. I think it was VG versus VP, and it wasn't clear if it was a support or a mid Lena. But it was interesting. Lena, that's the cool thing about Lena is that she's very uh, versatile. Makes her interesting here to pick. Legion Commander, of course, it's a pub, so jungle. God, the scum of Legion Commander jungle. Bristleback, very tanky. Good here to have. Reduces damage from all sources with his ass. Alright, let's see. Man, they're, down, they're taking their time. We're down to the last three seconds and nobody's picked yet. Alright, Phantom Lancer, Draw Ranger. And a couple people have picked up. Let's see. Oh my god, the. the hey, come on, let me let me move. Let me. Give me, give me free camera, please. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Wow, the co the number of cores on the Radiant side. Liquid seems strong this tournament, and MVP as well. Liquid, yeah, they beat Alliance. I was really surprised by that. I mean. Uh, Alliance looked like they were the not favorites, but they were like looking strong. MVP, I haven't seen enough games of them to make it to judge. But okay, the Radiant, interesting lad. Let's look. Legion Commander immediately, moment of courage, heads to the jungle. At least she's not starting with Iron Talon, but you know, SF mid. Oh, sorry. Let's introduce the teams also. Legion Commander is being played by Prince Maiden, I think, or Prince Maiden. Seven one three on the Shadow Fiend. Bristleback by FF Frostbite has a ton of Radiant on him. Uh, Phantom Lance is going to be played by Chinese characters. The support Wind Ranger, I believe, is going to be played by also Chinese Russian characters. Who bought the courier? Actually, was it? Yeah, it was the uh, Wind Ranger. Also, by the other side, we have Chaz's uh, on the Lena. Uh, two fairy fires. That's interesting. Spectre being played by Mode. So I think we might know who won because we know who sent the game now. Uh, they're going to try. Oh, Legion Commander. Is she going to take the bounty rune? And uh, no, Phantom Lance gets it. Uh, Phoenix being played by Outsider LV, this one he's going top. Bob Mears is going to be the Kunka by HMS Luxia, and Drone Ranger being played by Waluigi. Uh, I suppose with two range people, having a Drone Ranger on your team is pretty good, but I'm not sure how they're going to farm the lanes quite yet. They do seem to also have a lot of, like, core heroes. But Legion Commander Jungle, oh, oh, this is going to be so good. I love when we have a Legion Commander in the game. Yesterday we had a Luna Jungle, and that was fascinating, but it's not the classic. Also, really liking this uh, Lena helmet. I want to look at it. It is the helm of an Anthelian, Anth Anthelian, Anthelian dragon. Not quite sure, but it is. It's hot. It. I like it. I mean, makes her have white hair and all that. But white hair is pretty cool, isn't it? Kind of. I don't know. Anyway, Lena versus Shadow Feed uh, mid. You know, the classic match. But I don't think that one side is too much stronger than the other. Shafi does get much stronger once he gets... Hey, Mr. Coppers. Once he reaches level uh, 3 and 5, especially. Uh, Phantom Lancer. Hey, uh, guys. I love doing this. I love doing this. Anyway, let's go player perspective. Legion Commander. Uh, let's, just, let's just look at Legion Commander. For, just for... How's it going, man? It's going good. Thank, thanks for being here. This is this is what I love to do. The Legion Commander. Uh, Legion Commander. Uh, oh, where, 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 where are we looking at, Legion Commander? Yes, Legion Commander. This is the best part. This is Legion Commander jungling. You do this, then you go and you, you know, open Facebook or something. The best part of Legion Commander is that they just do this. This, this is all they do. Ah, well. Let's go look at some of the at some of the lanes here. What about bottom lane? Bottom lane is going to be Phantom Lancer as well as the Wind Ranger. Seems like Wind Ranger, yeah, she's playing the, the support role. And uh, Kunkka as well as the Dro. Neither one of them is farming particularly well. I'm not really sure who's supposed to be the core and who's supposed to be the support here, since both of them have some pretty hefty items here. Well, that's what I see. Top lanes will be Spectre and the Phoenix. Spectre farming pretty well, 60s. Uh, Bristleback is kind of annoying to deal with, but she does have the uh, jungle and chill pretty much. She doesn't have the Phoenix to uh, help her out. And the, the you know the, the main problem about a jungler is one thing. Is that if you have a jungler, you're gonna have weaker lanes. Like bottom lane is kinda okay, it's gonna be relatively even, but top lane bristleback won't be enough to harass the Spectre out of the lane. So that's the problem with having a jungler. And we see that if you guys have been watching the majors, EG have almost 
I mean, EG mostly, but a lot of teams do have a, have a greedy jungler, and it works for them. Why? Because they have a lane setup that, that you know, can take it, but picking Legion Commander just like this is, it's not going to help you out. She also takes the Arcane Ruin, but she's not spamming first the attack. She has full mana, but she has the Arcane Ruin. And it's like, why? Well, bomb lane. We did see the Shackle Shot. Can they bring it out? They do bring out Wind Ranger, and they might actually bring out the Wind... Nope, Wind Ranger is going to be okay. And first blood coming out to the Radiant side. Well done by them, killing the drone like that. So even with the burden of a Legion Commander, they're still doing pretty well. And Legion Commander, did she bring anything to her? Nope. And oh crap, in the meanwhile, I, I don't want to actually miss that kill. Let's see what happened there. Looks like Lena and Sheriffin, yeah, like level 3, no, sorry, level 4. Oh, misses this is the Light Strike Array, and the race comes out. Good kill by Sheriffin, giving him a ton of soul. What was your current view on Ehome? Uh, uh, I didn't see Ehome's matches yesterday. I know they played a game, but I didn't see the match. Um, but I I think they when the when the tournament started, people were saying they're the best team. They were like, this is the best team. Like... I mean, I mean, they were saying, you know, it's like maybe some people were not saying the best, but they're like top three, top three E Home Alliance, EG, something like the OG, whatever. But I mean, I don't say that. Sheriffin, what is he doing? Sheriffin, way too greedy. And just now, he, I mean, it looks like he could have ran away, but he decided to stay and fight. That was a bit of a throw by him, honestly. Yeah, people are saying that you know E Home is like supposed to be insanely strong. They seem, yeah, I don't know. They don't seem that amazing. Oh, PL trying to go for it. The, he's not very good against Kunkka because of Kunkka's cleave. And Legion Commander picking up. She's level 3, of course, maxing out Moment of Courage because that me makes means you can play even more brainlessly. Not using the illusions to tank because why would you, apparently? I don't know. Uh, oh, someone just died. Spectre. Okay, let's see that. I'm mi we're missing kills left and right because that's the problem with. Uh, yeah, they're just gonna dive on the tower and get him down. Bristleback, even with his ass, he's not tanky enough to take too much. Looks like Spectre is going to go for the phase, but that's going to work very well for her. Phase boots up power twitch, both are fine. But how is the situation? Looks like neither team has flying Korea. Both, both teams kind of greedy lineups. They don't really have a clear support. Uh, I suppose Phoenix is the support for his team, and these Wind Rangers is the support for her team. But neither one of these are, are heroes that you think, well, I got time to watch soon. Nice. I don't think either one of these are heroes that you think, oh, these are the good support heroes. Anyway, Shadow Fiend, he is he is almost doubling the Lina CS. So, oh, wait, but bottom lane, though, Lina is going bottom. Can she actually kill? It looks like the PL is going to fall. Shark Shot comes down, but it's not going to be enough. But Lina to rotate bottom, gets a kill on the core. It's nice. Uh, it's a nice kill. Meanwhile, Bristleback kills a Spectre. Ah, we can't even watch every kill, but will he fall to the Phoenix as well? Phoenix? Um... Can actually get the kill. Bristleback picking up the Tranquil Boots. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I feel like Tranquil Boots, it's good for the laning stage, but after that, it's gonna be, it's gonna fall off pretty heavily. So I don't really think that the Tranquil Boots pickup is too good because now it's useful. Now it's useful, yes, but soon, he, soon you'd rather have Power Threads because you'd rather have the tank ability. Mm. And yeah, Shadow Fiend, much, yeah, doubling the CS of the Lina. Lina. He's level seven. Lena's level six and a half, almost seven. It's nice. It's I don't know. The gank bottom feels like it was okay, but doesn't really generate much. Phantom last, nothing too interesting on him. Bristleback, I I already discussed. And looks like Windrage is going top. She she definitely wants to farm. She has phase boots. She doesn't want to support. And you can see that they don't actually have any wards planned. They have four wards in stock, so that's really not gonna help them out too much. I think. As for the dire side, though, Lena, they are they are three to three. Uh, Fairfire fire as well as a bracer. Interesting items. Well, we see a kill top lanes. Phase boost is picked up on the Spectre. I don't know if she's going to rush the Radiance. I prefer ra ra rushing Radiance on Spectre over everything else. Phoenix takes a point in the center. I like it. I like that she has one sun ray. Joy Ranger. Not maxing. Oh, not that maxing out precision hour yet. Well, let's see what she's going to go for. This game, looking at the two teams. It's kind of hard. Both of them have really strong late game. On one side, you have Legion Commander who has infinite scaling. Shadow Fiend is no slouch in the late game. PL, known for a split push. Bristleback taking a bit of damage here. Oh, he's diving here. Can they go for, some, for something? Shackle Shot can come out. Oh, someone's teleporting. It is going to be the Kunkka. Are they going to go for a killer? Okay, X marks the spot, comes out. Can he? Can he? Okay, he, mar he marks one person, but is able to turn the next. And Spectre throws out her ultimate. Can she get a kill? She doesn't have enough mana for a dagger, unfortunately. But I don't think this is really going to be a kill on anyone. Uh, they're going to die. I don't think... I 
Nope, don't dive this. Don't. This is not worth it. And I think that looks like Kuka is gonna fall. That was a very ambitious dive. I don't really think he should have. There's no way you're gonna make it out of this one. He would have been better served if he traveled like this. Instead, he, I don't know why he tried to do the walk around. He was gonna walk into tower anyway. So that was not the best thing he could have done. A bit of a an ambitious dive didn't really pay off much for uh, for them. A net worth looks like Shadowfiend is way ahead of the net worth. He is going to go for what looks like to be a Silver Edge. You know, Shadow Blade into Silver Edge. Silver Edge is pretty good against the... Uh, whoa, 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 Spectre. Shackle Shot gets killed. Yeah, Silver Edge would be pretty useful against the Spectre. You know, get rid of her Dispersion, her Desolate, all the, all the stuff that she has. Lena maxing out Lag the Light Strike Array over the Dragon Slave. That's kind of interesting. Especially because Dragon Slave gives you more damage per level. But Light Strike Array, you know... The damage is 40 per level, but Dragon Slave is 70, I think. Yeah, 70. I'm not really sure why I should go for. I guess the more, uh, more stun duration. I don't know if it's worth it though. We'll have to wait and see. Legion Commander, how's she doing? Wait, Legion. Yep, there we go. Legion Commander has the agility power treads, not strength, but agility power treads. And this is pretty much it, huh? Meanwhile, the mid lane. No, looks like I couldn't land the stun. There's a nice word here, actually. Keeping them. Hey, Atomo. Uh, would you do one of mine tomorrow? Tomorrow, not today. Uh, I, I, I'm not really sure. I actually don't have any games to do today. After this game, I'll, I'll see who, who wants their game casted. Because uh, there's no games. Uh, you know, it's like a viewer day only. Really, really short one. Not stump, I think. Short, but not stump. Okay. How's Kunka doing? Kunka maxing out the Tidebringer. Um. Yeah, he's definitely not playing as a support role at all. And you can see the top three and that worth are all radiant side. Uh, it's still wondering what Legion Commander is going to go for. Probably looks like probably going to be a blink dagger. Uh, well, I don't know if you would feel bad doing mine today. Ah, yeah. oh, why would I feel bad? I, lo I love casting games for you. Oh, the, the pingers are coming out. Can they go for this? Shackle shot misses. Lena's here, and can they want to kill? They want to kill him fast. Kill him fast. They're good. They get the damage instead on the Kunka, and he's going to be tracked. Lena, can she land the light strike array? They do, and they don't even they don't even expand the Laguna blade to get the double kill uh, on the radiant on the radiant side. Shafiend, he does have the shadow blade, and uh, yeah, well, he's going to be all right. Meanwhile, top lane Spectre. I think she might be going for the Radiance, I, pr I hope so. She does have the poor man's shield, so that duel, yeah, that duel was, uh, that was wishful thinking by the Legion Commander. And they give Kunka 10 damage, which isn't a big deal, but it's still extra damage that he shouldn't have. Oh man, Lena misses the Light Strike Array. They, ha they can see him, she's balling up, she wants to have enough mana balling somewhere. And she does, oh, this is going to be a rough one, can she get, can she get, throws out the look, the look, the look with a one more hit, no, oh, he makes it out, oh, that's so unfortunate. And uh, the torrent comes out, hits the, hits the uh, Digicon, Digicon is sticking with the uh, agility threats for some reason. And they're going to try to go for this, Lena needs to be careful, oh, the Shadow Fiend uh, ultimate comes out, Legion Commander, duel, duel, well, you could have dueled then, you know, and Lena just gives up on life. That was an interesting uh, change of pace. I wonder if not what's gonna happen now. Phoenix, he should really consider diving. He should really consider diving. Oh, throws out the sunray. Spectre, this would be a really good time to ultimate Spectre. Spectre, not not throwing out the ulti for some. But all right, Spectre. Spectre, now would be a good time. There we go. Can she kill? Oh, she's going to go for one person. Gets one person. Can she go for more? Yes, the uh, Bristleback would be a good kill as well. Nice jump it by the Phoenix. And they are going to be tra trade for it. Bristleback, oh, well, at least he died. I think he was killed by one of the creeps. Whew, fight recap. I don't know. That fight went on forever. I don't know who actually won because well, it looks like the Dire came out on top. But the Legion came out did get a dual victory off of that. So that's not so great. And, oh, wow. Still, Shadowfiend is pushing up in net worth. I wonder if he's going to go straight Silver Edge. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, and turns out, in terms of tower, it looks like the Dire do have the middle. Oh, can, no, no, that's not going to be in range, unfortunately, for her. At least someone's warding for the rain. I believe it's the Phoenix. No, it's the Kunkka, apparently. Kunkka is the one warding for them. Kunkka and Phoenix, yeah, both of them are warding, which clearly gives them an advantage. Shadowfiend, oh, this, this is ballsy. Uh, this guy's got this guy's got some big nuts, boys. 
And he's gonna go for it. Oh, I knew it. I knew it wouldn't work out. So him. Lena gets the kill, which means she gets the experience. But um, games have been. Just watching. Yeah, games have been extremely laggy for me as well. That's why we're watching replays. And replays don't like. Oh, well, Door Ranger, that was way too deep. Not enough vision. Uh, Tad Ringer trying to help. What should they finish the daily sniper plus first blood channel? Oh, that's cool. Kunkka, the cool thing about Ghost Ship, by the way, have you guys seen the Ghost Ship does like 400 damage? Ghost Ship does almost as much damage as Laguna Blade level 1. And it's an AoE, and he has a billion buffs. Like, Ghost Ship's damage is insane. That's a weird word. Uh, it has to be the... No support, really. Uh, this is all picks, so everyone just picked whatever they want. Yeah, but have you guys seen how much damage Ghost Ship does? 400 damage. Oh, well, okay, he's, I think he might die soon, so I don't think we have time to discuss the full skill. But he does have Lena coming back to help him out. Lena lands the Light Strike Array, and they need to be careful. Oh, he's going to use his doppelganger. Send him back, send him back. Oh, wait, he sends himself back. Dude, use the ship already. What's he waiting for? Throw the goddamn ghost ship. Spectres here misses the dag, but they are going to bring out one person. Oh, could have gone to the second illusion, but just miss it. These games are all fun. They are always fun, aren't they? Is your commander? What's, did she have? Oh, she's going to go Shadow Blade. Uh, sorry, this way. No, don't don't apologize, man. I'm happy. It's 20 kills in 30 minutes. What more could we ask for? And I expect there's going to go for the fast radiance. All right. Looks like Legion Commander is hiding in the jungle. Someone's coming in. It's going to be the Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger, I haven't seen much of her lately. All right, Legion Commander. You best person to do would be the Lena or oh, Shackleton comes out. I don't think you want the Spectre. Uh, oh, Ghost Ship comes out. Beautiful Ghost Ship. I don't think you should have dueled the uh, Spectre though. That was that didn't work out at all. They get a triple kill from that. The ghost ship, like I said, doing insane amount of damage. But yeah, I won't go back. Ghost ship level one does 400 damage. Laguna blade does 450. Ghost ship is an AOE. Has the same has 60 second cooldown. This has a 70 second cooldown. This thing gives increased bonus speed by 10 for 10 percent and has a small stun duration. And you take 50 percent less damage for some time. It's insane. I feel like ghost ship is a super strong ability. You're on the verge of quitting Dota? Well, uh, I don't know. I, it's up to you. I mean, if it makes you feel unhappy, then I guess you should quit it. It's it's really up to you, man. Uh, don't you? I, you're studying chemistry, so I guess you don't have time. But what is up with the Legion Commander agility traits? Did he just put them on agility and he just forgot that they were on on agility? You want to put them on strength so that you you actually have a bit more life and a bit more damage, but. Agility strength give you like one armor, eight attack speed, and that's about it. I don't really see the point of having agility threats. You can also see that the max out moment of courage means that he barely does any damage with his uh, with his overwhelming odds, which is like a really strong nuke if, nuke if maxed out. Uh, Lena, oh, oh, that's not good. Dude, extra armor. Yeah, the one extra armor. It's actually more like 1.2 extra armor or something like that, but damn, it's pretty damn terrible. Spectre, about uh, 800 gold away from the Sacred Relic. She's getting quite close. If she can get it within 17 minutes, would be pretty good. Does have her ultimate available as well. Going for the max, desolate max, the Spectral Dark top lane though. Oh, they do see that. They do see the, the uh, Shafi. Shafi, and this time he's not gonna let the Lina slip through his fingers. Gets the kill. And where's he gonna go with this? Towers so far even even I think across the board both teams have one tower each and the no support thing is kind of weird to to see uh, Wind Ranger doesn't have a point in Fox Fire. Do you take Fox Fire early levels? I kind of forgot How's Phoenix doing? Phoenix Doesn't really have much to, to talk about. His net worth is actually not that bad though Well, not so bad for support. Oh Bristleback the su the uh, Blade mail doing a lot of reflecting a lot of damage. Shafi, is he gonna go for this? I mean, he, he's gonna have to hope that the Phoenix does something stupid. Phoenix can just there you go, just ultis immediately, and Shafi now looks like a bit of an idiot. I don't think I mean I don't think he should have gone for that in general, but well, Lena, uh, she's gonna, she's gonna be able to go for this either. Seems like neither team is really like sure what to do. What MMR is this? This is unranked, so we don't know what MMR it is. Yeah, it seems like. Uh, pubs. Are just gonna, I wonder what until most of the fan meeting. Fan meeting? I'm not sure what that means. Um, it seems like neither team really has a goal. Both teams are kind of walking around. I suppose that the die are waiting for Spectre to finish her radiance. Uh, 
but Skunka is going to go for Shadow Blade, Droringer is going for Shadow Blade, uh, Lena is going for Eul Scepter, Phoenix, not sure what he's making actually, I wonder if he's going to go for Mech, I feel like he's going to make, have you seen the that's going on? Sorry, they're accusing you. Yeah, it is. The majors has been the Shang the Shanghai shitstorm top lane. They are going to be able to kill the Lina. Lina, oh, I'm not sure she's not going to make it out of that, that one. And Mila PL, can they go for him? Uh, Spectre's here, throws out the dagger. The thing, good thing is that that keeps vision of him. The Spectre does so much damage with the Desolate. Is she going to go for her? Is she going to be able to bring him down? He moves so fast. And she does have. Oh, can she land this? A Sunray. Uh, Mike is throwing out the ultimate for this. Nice, very well done. And just throw out the Spectral Dagger to get the kill. Spectral Dragger sees him. There you go, he's dead. Uh, one more hit. This guy is pretty damn annoying, but he, but she does get the kill in the end. Spectral, good job bringing him down. We want to top it. They, looks like they are going to lose. Even I can just have about the Dota chat channel. Uh, yeah, I think I think like two people working at Starbucks can make a better stream than what's going on. And two. Two Shadow Blades are picked up. One of the Dragon Range, one of the Legion Commander. And Kuka is of course going for his own Shadow Blade. There's a ton of Shadow Blades. I wonder how many gems they're gonna we're gonna have in this game, because it feels like we'll need some. In terms of Network Shadow Fiend doing very well for himself, top net worth, but Spectre not close behind, about 2k, but still Spectre gold on Spectre's more is better than uh, the gold on the Shadow Fiend. I mean not better, but she can use it slight she can utilize it just as a little better, honestly. They are throwing sentry wards, so, so they are like aware that there is a vision issue that they are going through. Lena, I thought she was gonna go for a straight Yule scepter. She, yeah, she does should have it. I don't know, understand why the drums. What's up with the drums? I mean, I don't really feel like she needs the extra attacks or movement speed. Gives does make her a bit tanky, but feels a bit weird. Bristleback going for blade mail. It looks like he's gonna go for Vanguard next. I wonder if he's gonna go for Mech. Mech would be insanely useful for the team because, like I said. They both teams seem kinda goalless right now. They don't seem to have a certain like plan like you know, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go one, two, three, we're gonna hit this goal, that goal. Neither team seems to want that. After Bristol Black Oh yeah, Legion Commander. Legion Commander sticking to these agility threads. She's like she is confident with her choice because she has not changed it. No uh, TP scrolls either. PL's uh, another Drums of endurance. I guess it's okay on PL, but I, I feel like you, you'd want to rush the fusel blade on this guy. If you can mana Hey, did you? Hey, uh, did you see my game ID match? Oh no, we're gonna. Hey, actually, legendary the best. We might actually do that after this because I remember you asked from yesterday. And oh crap, top bomb lane. Ah, uh, Cook is gonna be, gonna be. We haven't actually seen that game yet, but if you want, we can do this after this because we don't have any games for the day. Cause, and I remember you asked since yesterday. I'd actually like to do that if possible. Uh, the problem. And Spectre picks up Radiance. 20 minutes Radiance. Uh, she has Phase Boots and as well as a Poor Shield. Is she the one? No, she's not the one buying the, the sentries. The TB, uh, sorry, the Observer Wards. Because uh, we'll just do a viewer day. I'll probably just do two games. So after this game, we'll have to pick another one. Uh, maybe we could do two short games, I suppose. As you can looks like she's going to go for Blade Man. Ah, nah, do they have a, did they smoke up or something? No, that's an envy ruin. No smokes. Okay. Oh, beautiful shaka again. Apparently, you can shock shock envy people. Duel comes out. Good duel. And now the the, the dust is used. Looks like Spectre. Can she bring down the Shafin? She. Yeah. He. They can see him. And plus, she has the Spectre. She can. He, she has no problem having vision of him. He uses the uh, use her ultimate. Uh, don't know if this is really the best option. She is surrounded by four people, and uh, Phoenix could have. Done his sunray a bit sooner, but the rest of the team is kind of far behind. Two for two trades, uh, favoring the raid. Well, fav favoring the raid experience. Gold for the dire. Meanwhile, it looks like the bristleback is gonna fall here. Yeah, look, he, oh, he's, he's alive so far. Does he have the vanguard on him? No, he does not. The tranquil boots pick up. Still not really what I'm thinking. He should have gotten. He's gonna try to hide. Oh well, that's it. He is dead. You could have just uh, marked him, dude. I, I imagine if he jukes this somehow. I don't think he can, but. Oh, oh no, no, okay, he makes up. I was almost surprised for a second. Um, you, you will see a fail in one minute. I only do viewer day then. Uh, no, I mean it like that. I mean, like some days we we do uh, games for Dota 2 cast and sub, and some games we do uh, like games for viewers. That fight went kind of weird while playing in this game. Uh, I think it's 
there you go. That you can. I don't know if you can see it, but that's his. His name is right on on top. So we know it's a dire victory. We're just fine. It's like, let's see how they will. Uh, we'll see how they achieve victory is gonna be interesting. The Legion commander has four one duels in twenty two minutes. That's actually not bad. I mean, uh, it's not great. I mean, wait, is this? It's pretty good. Honestly, it's pretty good. Most of the Legion commanders would jungle for for thirty minutes, so you never see them. But four one duels is pretty good. Nice, yeah, Spectre is a nice hero. I feel like Spectre is just really strong. Top lane, meanwhile, uh, Shadow Fiend doing a good job switch pushing. The Dire are pretty good against Roshan. They have the minus armor from Shadow Fiend as well as the minus armor from Bristleback. They should consider going for him pretty soon. The production is so much better than Shanghai. Yeah, and this is a one man production, you know? Fired. Uh, by the way, I'm loving the new meme, the. Uh, the uh, Ramses keyboard is an ass. We've had issues with it in the past. We won't be working with it again. I love that's a, that's a great view. I'm sure it's gonna get old soon, but for now it is so good. The uh, everything everything is uh, is an ass. You know issues. <laughs> We've had issues with issues. Issues is an ass. We won't be having. We won't be working with issues again. Ah, oh, thanks, Kappa Rock. You're a sweet guy. Phoenix, I don't know what, if he should, what's he going for, but I feel like Mech would be the best thing he could go for for the team. Mech seems to be like such an undervalued item. Do people not realize that 25, 250 HP is like a quarter of your life early on, and it's always good no matter what? Production value. Hey, Llama. Welcome to the stream, man. Bunch of new faces today. Okay, that can they go for it. One thing Phoenix has been doing pretty badly is that he's not been using his ultimate as soon as he could. And yeah, I'm still surprised that Dire, that Raid haven't considered going for Roshan. It doesn't feel like they're going to be hitting any sort of power power curve anytime soon. Raid is such a fun place. It is. It is. Uh, every time I post there, I get that voted to Oblivion. Legion Commander, I don't know how I feel about Blade Mail over BKB. Shadow Fiend, nothing too big coming. Diffusal Blade. Phantom Master is starting to build towards a Diffusal Blade, but... Uh, Bristleback doesn't have anything too impressive. Unranger's going for Agam. Yeah, like, I don't see the Radiant getting a certain I one item, and I'm like, alright, now's the time to push. Because it doesn't feel like it, does it? I don't know. Uh, Lena, she's doing okay. Again, uh, Phoenix going for something. I'm not really sure what the Oreo Club's gonna go f gonna make in the end. Heaven's Halberd, most likely, I think, would be the obvious choice. Duranger's kinda underfarmed. Eighth in net worth on a what I assume is a carry draw. Another thing that Ra Radiant don't have is a single ward on the map. At, say what you want about the dire lineup, which I think is not that good, but at least they have wards on the map. They have some vision going on. Radiant have zero. Minimal mid lane. Oh. 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 Ph Phoenix. Ah, oh, Phoenix. He could have. Oh, he could have. All he had to do was press R, son. Another dual victory coming out for the Legion Commander. Legion Commander, level 12, ultimate only level 1. What the hell is going on here? And going... It looks like Lina, can she make that life Spectre throwing out a good ultimate here. Uh, oh, beautiful draw uh, push. But it looks like they should be able to... The Shadow Fiend might be able to bring down the... Yeah, bring down the Lina. Now they're going to go... Bring down the Draw Ranger as well. Spectre trying her best here, but... Uh, should be able to get it. Yeah, I guess in the end. Yeah, that's an illusion, son. And there's the real one. Shafin doesn't have envy for six seconds. I think he's gonna be brought down. Oh, should have thrown out the ultimate at the beginning, but kill Spectre in his dying breath. He could have done the double ultimate, but four 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 trade. Uh, Phantom Master split pushing. Let's see the fight recap. It does favor the dire and everything actually. Well done for them. Bring down the SF is a huge deal. Uh, makes such a good, but until it makes LCD sucks with him. Does he have mines? No, he doesn't. Um, he doesn't have anything really. He has. Magic wand, the power threads, and an ogre club. And I'm like, that's so weird. So, what, what are you making? Also, he's maxing out the sunray over the Icarus dive. Now, I don't know. I mean, an Icarus dive seems like a pretty good. It's like, I understand sunray is really good, but um, split pushing in jungle. Yeah, he is. He, I thought he was split push. Also, I'm surprised by this Legion commander. Wait, wait, wait. Legion commander had has duel on level one just now. I guess he, at level 11 he didn't take duel, he took something else. I'm not really sure why. And still with the agility threads. There are some weird things coming out this game, but I like it. Uh, the, the weirder the game, the better if you ask me. You should put info about yourself in the info at the bottom. Uh, I do have some info. But you mean like, you know, ASL, 24, married, that sort of thing. 
Oh, it's Legion Commander. Oh, Legion Commander. Oh, she's going for this. Wow, really? All right, all right, all right. Let's analyze this this decision making here. It's coming out of the Legion Commander. Uh, okay. Legion Commander. Where is he? Okay, right now. Let's see. Let's. I want to see. Not not player perspective. Fog gradient. Okay. Uh, okay. So Legion Commander's here. He doesn't actually see anyone on the map, and he he goes envy. He goes NV and he just oh he can't actually see the Kunkka. Still going dueling against the Spectre one one wasn't gonna work and uh, I really thought I mean the map was look at the map for the rain by the way this is the maybe this is Radiant Vision they see absolutely nothing and he decided that that would be a good situation to duel in uh, I mean I don't know what he was thinking just Legion just LC things two six six. Top lane, draw. Oh, oh, sorry, bottom lane. Phantom Lancer. Uh, doesn't he could actually use his drums to range? Does she have her gust? No, she doesn't. He's a backstab. There's a lot of damage just by himself. Top lane, though. Uh, Shadow Fiend. Yeah, you can't stay too long with next to a Spectre, and she's oh, she's gonna burn you to death. Uh, Kunkka. All right, let's see. This is where you're from? Oh yeah, yeah, that's because I'm a Sultan. ASL. <laughs> yes, I remember that. The ASL stuff. Turns out you're talking to a 40-year-old man who's Send telling you to send pics of yourself. No, that, that, that was good times. What Spectre going to go for next? Mantis style. All right. Mantis style Spectre gives you a bit more. It gives you a bit of split push ability. You can use the, sp the images in a lane. You, when you ultimate, also they're really strong. If you go Mantis style, I feel like you should go for Diffusal as well because they work so well together. And neither team thinking of Roche for some reason. Dyer is kind of understandable because they they're. Lineup is not built to take Roche. I mean, Spectre does damage, but her damage mostly from Radiance and from Desolate, and neither one of these work on Roche, I think. I think Desolate might, but I'm not quite sure. But Radiant, they have uh, Shadow Fiend and Bristleback. That's kind of, that's like obvious Roche. 16 F Kala. I would like to help the enemy person if you want to give them extra damage. My strength threats. Exactly. It's like, no, he's like, no. Oh, wait, wait, we, have, we might have a Rumble the Jungle. Shadow Fiend. Oh, wait, does he have, do they have vision? Did he walk in a sentry ward or something? How do they see him? I'm not quite sure, but they might be able, oh, beautiful shack shot coming out here. And they, oh, it looks like they might be able to get, oh, they don't take out the, shot, the phoenix first. That was a mistake. They trade one for one. Spectre's here. Spectre's going to cause a bit of issues. Shadow Fiend buys back. And now he's going to go, shack shot doesn't actually last. And, oh, man, the, the bristleback falling again. Meanwhile, Shadow Fiend's bought back, but where's he going to go with his buyback? He needs to make something happen. I mean, uh, What's, what's gonna... Well, there was nothing to defend? Nothing to, like, do with it? I don't know. He, he wasn't pushing or anything. That was a really weird buyback, I think. Oh, Joe can take fast Roshan with lifesteal. She could, but... I mean... I'm just saying that compared to the Radiant lineup, the Rosh, the Dire lineup is not as good. They have... Uh, I mean, they even have Wind Ranger with Focus Fire. Who, and she has Aghanims. I guess the on Wind Ranger doesn't actually mean you, you do damage. It just means that you hit kind of fast. But her damage is still pretty lackluster. Now let's look at the graphs actually. We haven't seen them. Experience favoring the die by quite a bit. Gold roughly even. Uh, neither team has a Midas surprisingly. Legion Commander's net worth. Seventh and net worth. I mean. Here's the thing. If you guys see the, the, Ma the Shanghai Majors. Which is really good by the way. Especially, you should especially watch it live if you guys want to waste the whole day. And, oh, okay, Kunkka's going to make that safe. Oh, nice, he has a dust. So, uh, diffusal blade. Uh, he's going to burn off his man and kill him. Nice work by the by the PL. PL, doppelganger, doppelganger. There we go. This PL playing pretty damn good uh, right now. Oh, he's teleport. Oh, wait, he can't. Uh, dude, dude, oh, he's... The dagger does last, he's going to be okay. It's a pretty big one's on. Yeah, it's pretty pretty much it's like just Aghanims is not going to give you much. And just Aghanims doesn't really help. And uh, he has a Chrysalis. Like I said, we, she does some damage, just not a lot. I suppose... Oh, wait. I don't want to try Office. Uh, I suppose Lina gets a good amount of damage, though, because she attacks really fast, so she's going to go for Aghanims herself. Uh, if you're trying to watch her again... Yeah, yeah. I oh yeah. Also yeah, I recommend you guys watch the Shanghai Majors on YouTube. They they're much better on, than Twitch. For some reason, I don't even know why. 
Okay, Spectre throwing out the ultimate. There is no duel, surprising, coming out. And Wind Ranger, she's going to be killed by the Spectre. Spectre doesn't have a slow, but yeah, there you go. One hit can bring her down. Looks like the game is going to go pretty well for the die right now. I mean, like I said, rate. Late game, both teams are really strong late game, but I mean, with the way that the game is going, Spectre is number one net worth. I think he's got this game is is, is pretty much in the bag for this for the die right now. They might they might lose, but it doesn't seem possible. I mean, the Bristleback is barely is barely tanking. The the Tranquil Boost pickup is horrendous, and he's going to go Octarine Core, which is nice, but I don't know. I mean, was, oh, sorry. Looks like PL. PL might be the problem, honestly. PL is playing pretty well. Eh, Mana burn. There we go. Yeah. So check out the check. Watch it on YouTube. Oh, PL versus Spectre. Can he bring her down? Uh, does have the fuse blade, but doesn't actually use it. Might have been able to slow her down enough to kill her. But ah, uh, well. Still, going back to base might have been the wise. Uh, sorry, not fight. It might be the wise decision. Legion Command needs to start doing things because she is. Oh, Phoenix dives away to safety. Legion Commander, can she get the duel? No. If only she had Aether Lens. I mean, Duel's Rage is pretty damn atrocious. Aether Lens would like quadruple it or something. Can someone send the game that they lose so we can make fun of him? There's... I know! Nobody ever sends a game where they lose. Every time someone sends a game. I mean, that makes sense. You, you want to look at a. You want to see yourself in a good light, but. I uh, know. It's like, sheesh, people. Um, hmm. Oh, what happens? Kunkka starting to do some damage. Chrysalis picked up. I wonder if he's going to go for Battlefield. The cool thing is that I have one where I feed. Does that work? Uh, Mr. Cobbers, isn't that most of your games? Yeah, the, by the way, is Battlefury Kunkka? How good is that? Because I know that if you have Battlefury on Kunkka, you actually cleave. Oh, they don't actually have detection. Or do they? No, they have Sentry Wars, yeah. Uh, Sentry Wars planted. He's just going to walk out of it. Sentry Ward range. Are you going to plant the second one? They plant two. Oh uh, yeah, that was a really good plant by them. Shafin dying again. The highest net worth hero on the radiant side is feeding. That's really not what you want to see. Doesn't give them much gold though, despite everything. Oh, Shackshot actually doesn't uh, doesn't latch, and Spectre throws out her ultimate. Phantom Lancer brings down the Phoenix. Phantom Lancer, like I said, doing a good job. Balling. We have engagement here. Looks like the uh, Legion commander is probably dead. She throws out the blade mail, tries to heal herself off, and. I think they should be at least make it out alive. Trading one for one across the map. PL, check it out. PL gets more gold and experience for killing the Phoenix, who's the lowest net worth here in the game, than uh, they got for killing the Shadow Fiend. So you can tell that the comeback mechanic is really strong, Dota. Sometimes a bit too strong, if you ask me. Phantom Lancer. Can you? I wonder if you can purge off. Oh, doppelganger. He needs to teleport. He needs to teleport pronto, or at least he needs to defusal and run. Ah. Uh, there you go, he's gonna fall. I'm surprised he didn't defusal the uh, the Spectre and run away. He could have slowed her down. You know, I worked tomorrow off and Good night, man. And uh, thanks for coming, Llama. Thanks for dropping by. New faces, always fun. I actually don't know if you followed or not. I, don't, I get the notification notification kind of late. Oh. Oh, Duel comes out. Can they bring down the Lina? And might nope, not. That's not gonna happen. Lina gets another 10 damage for her. Uh, lost Duel. Wind Ranger doing her best. Oh, she gets Laguna bladed, and this fight is turning out pretty terrible. In, one, in the meantime, uh, wait, wait, Bristleback. He's slowed, but he's gonna be okay. And just two freebies coming out for the rate for the dire right now. They need to start taking objectives, and I think they're trying to do that. Kunk are not the best split pusher. They're probably best if they use the Ranger. Oh, thank you. And yep, yeah, Lama, thanks for following. Mm. Ghost ship, what's he gonna go for? Daedalus. Yeah, Battle Fury, Kunkka. How, which one's better, Battle Fury first or Crit first? Because I know if you have Battle Fury on Kunkka, when you activate Tidebringer, you'll have like 135% cleave. That's damage. There's this armor type. Uh, doesn't say actually how much cleave damage he does. It says grants him cleave, but doesn't say uh, for how much. Okay, Ooh, they, can they bring down the Drow Ranger? Can they bring down? If he defuses, he might. Oh well, yeah, she's dead. Drow Ranger kind of been feeding a bit often right now. And Dedos has picked up on the Kunkka. What is? Yeah, he, he's he's getting so much gold and experience just from these kills. I mean, he's killing a Drow Ranger who's like not that far, not pretty low on the net worth pole right now. 
They can kill Spectre, this will be a strong point. I, I go for crit and hope for the best. Oh, You go for crit and you like you attack and you're like, yeah, maybe it'll happen, the, the five man. But you know what you can do? You can go five battle fury or bounty hunter, guaranteed crit. I wonder how, I wonder how legit that build is. Give me your chest. Oh, oh, very soon, Abba Ab, 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 Ab is Abba isn't good. Yeah, well, we do we do giveaways right after every game we cast. Crit first, okay. Yeah, but you can just go buy Battle Fury Bounty Hunter. I've seen it. It works. It's very good. Le legit build. Mm. Let's see. Surprisingly. He didn't finish the Silver Edge. Oh, okay, we might have engagement. Can they bring down the Phoenix Eggs? Oh, you can't. They need to keep hitting it. They just need a couple more hits. Uh, they could have kept going. Duel comes out. I'm not sure who they dueled actually, but the Wind Rager is going to fall. And now it looks like the Bristleback is going to fall as well. Not very tanky, as well as the Shadow Fiend. This is turning into a butchery right now. Legend Commander has 50 dual victories, whereas everyone else seems to have. Lina has 14. Uh, Drow, Kunkka has 10, Spectre has 14, so collectively they almost have more than that. No prank? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that actually. Mid up, the, the, Legion? How long has Legion had the same item build by the way? Like the Agility, Treads, Blade Mail, and Shadow Blade. She's had it like since the start of the game, hasn't she? I feel like she's had it for, forever, right? So far. Uh, we'll see. PL doing his best, but I don't know if he's gonna be enough to care. He can't. He, he's like he's gonna have to put the whole team on his back and be like, I gotta do my best here. Oh, bottom lane. I wonder if they could have just killed the Phoenix just now. Yeah, saving for Rapier, may, maybe. Oh, I actually want to see what everyone's current gold is. Oh, duel comes out. This might be a really good one. Spectre kills the Phantom Lancer. That's unfortunate. Oh man, Kunka gets a, a duel victory for the Lina Lina. And there you go. They can't even bring down the Lina. She makes that on sliver of HP. Another really bad fight for the coming. Out. 20 minutes or so. Still edging with it. It's pretty much, pretty much same items. I love how he has three empty slots. He doesn't think maybe I could. Put in a couple of bracers and a TP scroll. Maybe I could do that. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. Waste of gold getting bracers. What is the current net worth on everyone? Actually, I want to see. I want to see who has what, who's making what. Uh, where's the current net worth? Let's see. Our current gold. Yeah, Spectre has the like, most current gold. What's Spectre gonna go for? Maybe upgrading. Oh, going for heart. That's good. Bristleback. What's he? He Bristleback is Octarine core. I feel like it's not going to help him out, honestly. It feels like he's getting bursted down every fight. He's kind of also just sitting next to a tower right now for some reason. Legend Commander, what's Shadow Fiend going for? Shadow Fiend going for Lincolns. Hey, 4 d one and ho Welcome back, man. Shadow Fiend, I'm surprised he didn't go for the Silver Edge. Silver Edge would have been really good against the Spectre, but he's like, no, 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 no. I want the Lincolns to block Laguna Blade. Draw Ranger. It has the Dragonlance. That's actually pretty good for her. Um... Nothing on the sh on the uh, what's his name Phantom Lancer and the most important thing right now is who has buyback. Nobody has buyback, and Roshan, which who I feel like the raid could have taken a couple of times, has so far been completely ignored. Also, no wards coming out from the from the raid. welcome to this raid. Actually, for for the Enho is a is a regular. He's been here quite a few times through thick and thin, you know, the usual. Uh. The, the thing that Bristol should get pipe, yeah, pipe would be good, but then again, it doesn't stop the pure damage from Lena. Although she has a lot of magic damage as well, but still. Oh, wow, he's that's him? I thought that, I didn't think that was a real one. Surprisingly, surprising, the X mark the spot didn't come out on time. They could have actually gone to him just then. Silver Edge is available on the Conquest, so he's going to be able to. I mean, who do you really. I guess Bristlebacks and Legion Command are the best people for, the, for that. Uh, for the Silver Edge pickup, but uh, no, okay. Now would be a good time for either team to go for Roshan. The Radiant, you can see that they're super behind. I'm um, great, thanks for asking. And like in everything, they're really behind. Radiant need the Roshan just to make a comeback. Dyer need the Roshan so they can start going for the base. And they're being mods are super friendly today. I know, usually they're like Hitlers, but today they're nice people. Although technically it's one one guy only. Mm. 
Uh, they're kind of dragging a game which I don't feel like they need to drag. Oh, and uh, Spinach, what did he make in the end? He has gold on him. It's his Aghanims. Ah, interesting. I feel like Aghanims on Phoenix is only good when you have something like Undying or Pugna, who have strong long duration wards, you know, Tombstone and uh, Nether Ward. So you build, you take Phoenix, you put Aghanims, you, you know, you plant the Tombstone, you do the ultimate, you take him inside, and you, then he comes out, you have two Tombstones or two Nether Wards. I feel like, you know, in a game like this, not really good, not so much day, boys. Oh, Shadow Fiend doing his best. Oh, oh cancels the ultimate. And. Bristleback, how fast is he gonna fall? Is the question. It turns on the, it turns on his ultimate shackle shot coming out on an illusion, and so much for being tanky. Bristleback not tanky at all this game. Oh, the Lina gets the kill. Now you have to go for the champion. Champion, it's gonna try the ultimate, the double ult. No, it's just looks like it was just one ultimate or something. Meanwhile, top lane though, we do have uh, PL trying to do his best, but that's not gonna work. And mid, and yeah, they're gonna go for Roshan. I said they were not they're not gonna be able to take it so fast, but they just bring Roshan down like he's nothing. Then top lane. Oh Kunka? Phantom Lance, does he wanna go for this? Oh, throws out the lance. Oh, can they get this? He needs to teleport out. He, he should consider teleporting out immediately. And can he manage the style out of this? Nice doppelganger use. My god, this PL doing such a good job all by himself keeping his team alive. And he's going to go for the oh, Phoenix. The he can't attack the Phoenix Sun Sun. No, no! Doppelganger and he's going to fall. That could have gone much better. He has a hell of Dominator, but I'm not sure what he wants with it because it doesn't really work on illusions. Ah, oh, well. I mean, he brings. Check out how much experience he gets from one kill. That's insane. Oh, man. This this PL playing out of his mind. PL is playing really well this game. The rest of his team, not so much. Shafi is kind of okay, but Legion Commander is 2 and 9. Bristleback is 5 and 8. Wind Ranger is 2 and 8. I mean. Uh... Spectre has the boots of travel. So he's going to be able. Spectre. They can't kill Spectre. Like, I mean, I'm looking at Spectre right now. He has 3k HP. He has Aegis. He has Manta Style, Diffusal, as well as Radiance. And none of them have MKB, so he's going to take like 20% less physical damage because, you know, of the Radiance Burn. It's 17, let's call it 20. Nice Dominator PL. Yeah, I don't really understand the Dominator PL either. And Legion Command looks like she's going to go for the uh, BKB, sticking with the Agility Treads. Like, at what point, at what point in his head does he look at his boost and he thinks, you know what? 9 Strength is better than 9 Agility. It's like, no, 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 that's not happening. That's not happening. He's also been stuck at 50 dual victories. Sorry, 50 damage from the dual victories forever. <sighs> I'm still gonna have school tomorrow. That's uh, Oh, it's alright, man. I uh, I'm recording the game so you can actually see the conclusion on YouTube later. I'll upload it on YouTube. Shafin. No gem coming out. No gem. Yeah, they don't have any gem. Any detection. Uh, kind of a misplay, but I mean, they do have the Phoenix who has the dust, but it's not the same as having a gym. Oh man, you guys are staying up late. Shanghai Majors, huh? Worth it to stay up late for. Oh, might be a dual victory! A dual victory coming out from Legion Commander. Oh, like increasing her dual victory. Oh, well, she's gonna fall, but still, she got a dual victory. And my god, the Wind Ranger tickles the Lena, basically. Takes the Laguna Blade to the face. Spectre, meanwhile, kills the Legion Commander. And oh, nice, pro nice uh, Sunray coming out. The Spectre throws out an ultimate, but. I'm mean, sorry, Shafi throws out an ultimate, but I don't think he's gonna be able to kill anyone. Uh, Shafi is going to try to go. Uh, the double ultimate is not gonna be enough. Meanwhile, PL has been is in the bomb lane. He's killing the Kunkka. Good job on him, but they trade four for two, and they actually kind of don't do so badly. I don't know. They're gonna go for the base. PL by himself. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna split push or is he gonna go back and defend? He's thinking. He's thinking. Uh, he's waiting for the creep wave. Yeah, they're gonna lose the mid racks for sure. See him on official. Oh, if you're leaving. Oh yeah, if you're leaving. All right. Just... See you. Thanks for for coming. And uh, oh, bomb lane. No, no, the music comes on, but it doesn't actually mean anything. And he's going to go for the uh, Phoenix, Phoenix, Icarus Dive. Oh, Icarus Dive is used. And can they bring him down? Turns out, he turns out to have Blade Mail. And there you go, gets the kill. We all top lane, the, the, the die are, are, are bored now. And decide to finish this game. Are they going to? Oh, well, we'll see. 
I wonder if PL can somehow salvage this game. It looks pretty impossible. I mean, the only reason the experience graph is even slightly going up is because of the fact that most of the die are probably level 25. So, hero level. Uh, yeah, well, okay, Spectre's 25, but still. I can buy back you and have my teams, yeah. Uh, I have to admit, PL is pretty nice. Yeah, PL p played out of his mind this game. Like, he did really well. Of course, he he is not going to win, but he played well. It's like it's kind of like when you when you have a team that... Like, Joe Ranger didn't do much this game. Shiva seems pretty amazing. It does, doesn't it? I mean, did you guys see Wind Ranger? Wind Ranger was pounding into her. And she didn't even take any damage. She was like, no problem. Oh, duel. Oh, dual victory, hey, Legion Command taking another dual win, and she's gonna fall, I think. I expect that she have an auto, nope, gets killed by the Laguna Blade, and uh, he's not doing it, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, the Dominator pickup was a bit weird, but he still, but his gameplay and decision making seemed pretty good. And, well, Wind Ranger's gonna fall. Wind Ranger, 2 and 10 incoming, yeah, 2 10 the dream. It's really... It's kind of like PL versus the whole Dire, but then again, the Dire you have Joe Ranger who's played pretty badly. Uh, Kunka is kind of uh, not that great. He hasn't done too much. It's like Sp Spectre by herself just w is winning the game solo right now. And Lina's good. Lina's done very, a very good job, but you know, Spectre now carrying the team on, on her back basically. Oh, you know, the PL top lane, creating some space for the team. And it is going to bring down the Kunkka. Kunkka, despite having a Shadow Blade, I'm uh, sorry, the Silver Edge, and uh, he's just going to teleport out of there. Beautiful job. Gets the kill, creates space. Um, like I said, it's he's just doing a really good job, this PL. I don't understand what the Helm of Dominator is for, though, because he hasn't dominated any creeps. And I agree, like, I'm not going to say Vlad's is better, but Assault Curious, maybe? Heart? I mean, you know, obvious choices. He's just kind of standing there now. PL? No, PL. No, not like this, PL. Not like this, bro. PL, no, bro. No, no, no. Don't DC, man. You're like the... You're like the sl tiny... Satanic, perhaps? Uh... Satanic's PL. Is it good, though, to go Satanic on PL? I don't really... I don't really know. If Satanic PL is worth it. Ah. Oh. By the way, hey. Hey, Raghead. Welcome to stream, man. We are casting pub games. This game is almost over. We do giveaways after every game. And I think after this game, I don't know if... Uh, what's his name again? DS Labis, something like that, if he's here or not. He, he wanted the game casted. Hopefully we can do that game. And by the way, the Reddit community seems kind of better. I'm getting more upvotes than downvotes these days. I guess even compared to the Shanghai Majors, even I look good. Hey, ha hey ha Blue, welcome back, man. Let's see, Lena has the Soul Booster, I wonder if she's going to go with this, I mean Octomine Core, is that? I mean you're not going to go Bloodstone at this stage of the game, do you? The Phoenix, uh, yeah. by the way, have we actually seen Phoenix use uh, most of the cast teams? Ah, oh, that's alright, we're going to have another game in a, in a moment. Have you guys, do you guys feel like, Phoenix, has Phoenix actually used his Aghanims to like suck someone into his ball? Because I haven't seen him do that. He has Aghanims, which is nice, but I don't actually see him using it with, you know, for the, can't wait for weekend to watch more of this. Um, we don't stream on the weekends, actually. We stream just, I stream like this because I'm at work, so, sorry. I'm glad you're excited. Today's happy day for my legendary card for Hearthstone. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, you play Hearthstone. We're watching Mod Official. Mod Official is gonna, uh, you plan on playing WD later? WD? Uh, what do you mean WD? Sorry. I'm... Uh, WD, now that I've seen it. WD, WD, what does that stand for? I mean, I don't think you mean Witch Doctor, do you? It has to be something else. Walking Dead! Oh! Uh, maybe, but... Oh, nice duel coming out. They bring down the Draw Ranger. Good kill here. And, oh, the Ghost Ship. The Ghost Ship. The Ghost Ship brings them down barely to any life. And uh, the Radiant Spirit is going to get them in the end. Looks like Shadow Fiend is going to throw out the double ultimate. Oh, no, he decides to cancel. But Bristleback is going to fall. Bristleback, uh, did he build... Mm, oh, well, still has... He's still trying to build the Octane Core. Meanwhile, PL, he's top lane. He's going to try to do his best, but he's not going to do too much. And PL is actually bad in the team fight because there's so much... Um, 
so much uh, he's up against so much aoe and no shafin does fall in the end triple kill coming from the specter uh, to be fair actually for it more official will you play on stream so i would like to but uh, uh the thing is right now right now in malaysia they there's a problem with the internet so the ping is insane like you play you have like 60 percent packet loss i was playing the other day it was barely playable and uh, it was just terrible uh to be honest uh mode you played perfectly this game the th and if you are up against a diff more like stronger enemy it would be easier to see if you are lacking anything but because the enemy team this game seems like they were kind of easy apart from pl so it's hard to find any faults because you played like phenomenal but you also weren't up against a team that really challenged you uh, but you played really good i think that there was one point where you could have ulted a bit sooner but that's really kind of it you did a very good job and uh, oh yeah well done all right so we're going to do a giveaway now and after that we're going to